Okay, um, again, I mean, we're at the application layer, so uh, some of the applications are unfortunately unfortunate. Uh, things like spam, phishing, malware, you know, these, these types of attacks. Um, well, it's, it's important and it's, uh, sometimes it's targeted at you, sometimes it's targeted at others. Um, we've talked uh, a bit about spam. Um, we have talked uh, about uh, malware, of course, in uh, the application development domain. Um, and uh, again, uh, just to note uh, the importance of uh, not just lumping everything together but to uh, know the different types of malware because the different types of malware are different types of threats uh, to uh, different parties um, and uh, very often require different types of protection um, just uh, as an example, I was doing a seminar the other day uh, answering questions about um, what is uh, uh, supposed to be a, uh, a ransomware attack. It's, it's likely a ransomware attack. But of course the media are um, conflating these days both uh, breach distortion and ransomware. Now ransomware um, you uh, encrypt uh, or remove software or you know somehow do something to the system you you get into the system uh, but you don't have to penetrate very far you just have to be able to um, uh, mess with the system make it um, unusable and then you tell the target um, you know we have done this um, if you want your information back uh, you pay us the ransom we give you the key <coughs> uh, breach extortion but but they don't have to do in, in ransomware they don't have to see any of the data they don't have to understand what you're doing it's just you know they've stopped you it's a kind of a denial of service attack if you want to continue operating you've got to pay them. Uh, although, in many, many cases, um, in three quarters of the cases, even if you do pay them, you don't get everything back. And in a great many cases, more than half, and I think the number is probably much larger than that, um, either uh, you don't need to pay them, you can recover your system, or... Um, it's pointless to pay them because uh, they have made a mistake and even they don't know how to fix your system. But that's uh, kind of a side issue at this point. Anyways, breach extortion is uh, they have stolen your data. They have copied your data. They have copied uh, either confidential or sensitive company information or uh, confidential client information information about your clients and if they release it that will cause trouble for your clients therefore trouble for you um, and so they want you to pay them a ransom so they don't release the data now in both cases it's extortion they're demanding money and they're trying to get a ransom. They're trying to get money. Um, but they are very different. Um, in the one case, you cannot operate. In the other case, you can operate perfectly well, but you may be embarrassed. And the, the damage, uh, other than to your reputation, is an externality to a certain extent because it's your clients, your customers, who are at greatest risk. So, you know, different, uh, you know, very different um, situation with regard to the, the risk and impact on both sides. But 
um, you know, because it both involves ransom. The media is calling it all ransomware, and they're two very different things. And and many of the uh, different types of malware, different types of attacks, uh, have these distinctions, which are important. They're important for protection. They're important for impact. They're important for risk analysis. And uh, nobody, you know, the media particularly, is not doing anybody any favors by lumping it all together and saying it's malware, it's an attack, whatever. Um, so, uh, firewalls um, can act as protection here, but you probably want an application proxy and, proxy and fairly sophisticated application proxy firewall for these types of attack. Um, one very important point, though, is um, you don't just do ingress scanning. Uh, do egress scanning as well to see if something bad is trying to escape from your system because that means you've got an infection on the inside. You are already infected. You better find the infection. And doing egress scanning gives you a bit of a warning before somebody comes thundering back at you and saying, you are attacking us. And then you have additional problems. So... Um, there are, of course, in terms of um, spam and, and other types of protections, uh, there is blacklisting, uh, known bad sites, you know, anything with .ru. Uh, anyways, uh, now, uh, these days that's seen as a um, fairly crude uh, weapon. Um, it's... Uh, in fact, used as denial of service attacks sometimes is somebody gets you on a blacklist and then you can't send mail to anybody. Uh, whitelisting, uh, these are known good sites that, um, you know, we, we will accept them. Um, again, uh, you have to manage that because somebody that you trust may all of a sudden get infected themselves and then all of a sudden you are allowing whitelisted content coming in bringing viruses with it. So, um, a sandbox. Um, now, um, there is, uh, Java has a, a, a very good and, and quite tunable, uh, sandboxing system. Um, and, uh, unfortunately, of course, you know, it is tunable. You can, uh, be very detailed about what you want, but most people don't. They just, okay. We'll turn on the sandbox, you know, not thinking, you know, how much do we want? What, uh, what sites, what services, what functions, what ports, um, what um, uh, is most dangerous? Do people have access to memory? Do they have access to the disk? Do they have, you know, um, so uh, if you are going for a sandbox, it's it's the same as a firewall and same as an intrusion detection system. You have to know what you're doing. And really, um, in many cases, you have to manage it yourself and, and tune what protection you want. Um, honeypot. Um, honeypot is, is interesting. I mean, it's a lot of fun uh, doing honeypot stuff. Um, seeing the attacks is very educational to see what types of attacks and, and uh, the types of people, the skill level of people who uh, are attacking you. But it's, you know, it's educational for you, but it is not necessarily a true uh, detection system because if somebody hits your sandbox, um, you know, you've got one sandbox, sorry, uh, honeypot, rather. You've got one honey, honeypot. Uh, and you've got maybe 5,000 computers in your company. Um, the odds are if somebody attacks something, it's not going to be your honeypot. So it's, it's not really a protective system. Um, interesting, educational, yes, but not really protection. Uh, we'll go on with other things about applications and how, what we need to do in protecting at that level.